Using the technology developed for molecular imaging, we've been able to reduce patient doses by 50%, yet we still have the same quality images, and often the images with the new technology with the low dose are better than with the previous technology. I'm Mike Barber, and I lead the molecular imaging business for GE, and we're very excited to be here this morning for the unveiling of two new products. Like any good company, we have a vision for what we want to do in molecular imaging, and for us, we call it true discovery. True discovery is something that you discover that might be hidden. It might not be obvious. But when it's discovered, it will bring great outcomes to patients that you treat each and every day. And eventually, those discoveries can help thousands of patients around the world. It's a fascinating time for us to be here at GE Healthcare. And after so much collaboration with many of you, I'm excited to talk about the two products that we are going to be announcing. First product is a PET CT product. We call it Discovery MI. Discovery MI is a PET-CT product which can help diagnose disease earlier. It is powered by digital SIPM detectors and one where sensitivity and quantitation has been vastly improved. And with that now, I'd like to introduce our second product in the nuclear medicine business, the Discovery Nuclear Medicine 670 CZT. Discovery NM670CZT is the first commercially available nuclear medicine product that is powered by CZT technology, direct conversion to give better energy resolution and spatial resolution. No matter how many firsts you get, you always get excited when something new comes up. And uh, CZT has definitely changed the way that we work. 
It has changed the way we work with our cardiac patients. Uh, definitely a great difference for patient comfort, for diagnostic accuracy, and for patient uh, throughput. And um, we are now happy that uh, the same um, is going to happen and is already happening with the new Discovery 670 SPECT CT CCT. Working with our uh, real partner, the BJC Healthcare System, uh, has been in the process over the last couple of years of upgrading the nuclear medicine equipment throughout the system with the purchase of a large number of new SPECT CT cameras and the decision to buy those from GE was a, a long deliberative process and it led us to purchase of many 670s. In fact, in the last year plus, we've had four new 670s installed in the academic hospitals uh, that, I'm, that I'm responsible for. So when the opportunity presented itself to go one upgrade further on one of these cameras with this new technology, we were fortunate that there was capital available to make it happen for the future of nuclear medicine, and so we were delighted to be able to make this upgrade to one of our cameras at the main hospital. There are a couple of things that I think immediately become available. First of all, the conventional nuclear medicine image quality with this instrument that we've had now for a couple of months has really been spectacular, no pun intended. Uh, the images are really quite good, and we're very pleased with that. The better energy resolution of the camera uh, clearly affords for better dual isotope imaging when things are close, like the combination of technetium and I-123. So developing new workflows for parathyroid imaging as a sort of a premier example would be very high on the list. And then the improved spatial resolution with the increased accuracy of quantification for ages with PET, but now can potentially do with SPEC. So we have done um, almost or maybe a little bit more than 70 patients so far. First of all, it was interesting to see how, uh, again, our patients are, feel very comfortable. Uh, the, the, the time of the study can be shorter, and this is very important. The, um, the image quality and the diagnostic accuracy has been better, and we've seen it in patients with kidney disease, we've seen it in patients with thyroid and parathyroid disease, we've seen it in patients with bone scans. We could see more lesions, we could characterize them better, and um, I think this is one step to what we believe is the future of, um, of SPECT, of nuclear medicine, to become a true tomographic and hybrid imaging modality. This is the way to go. Software and the uh, importance of those applications to bring uh, better quantization. We have a release uh, we didn't talk about as brings new capability to, to look at clinical procedures uh, and bring quantitation on that. I think it's absolutely uh, exciting beyond belief to see uh, two new uh, uh, molecular imaging systems introduced at one trade show. I've never seen it before in my professional career. Uh, one in PET and one in SPECT. Um, absolutely uh, great to advance the, uh, advance the specialty. Um, I think both are going to offer an absolute amazing uh, opportunities in research uh, and in clinical applications. Uh, Spec CT almost a decade ago took nuclear medicine back into the uh, into the mainstream, and to have the digital detectors allowing us to reduce dose will take us to yet another level. Uh, the molecular imaging with the new pet, digital PET system, uh, again, the increase in sensitivity, the increased potential for disease uh, detection at an earlier stage, more certainty. I think it's really uh, exciting for us to, to move forward. And, uh, you know, as a nuclear medicine physician and a radiologist, having the two combined with the uh, anatomic and the physiologic molecular imaging agents is, uh, is, is really exciting.